Well, hello. It is time to open some sword and laser mail again. I know it's been a couple weeks and we got a big stack of stuff to get through uh, as I shake the table. And no, I'm not playing Fallout 4, but I'm exercising my right to wear a vault Tech shirt anyway. Let's open some mail. Uh, wow, we got one, one, two, three, four, five, five books to show you today. Five books. What are in these packages of books today? I'm so excited. I yelled and I scared the dog into the next room. Here it is. First book, A Daughter of No Nation. No, no Nation is this woman's father. This is Daughter of a No Nation from A.M. Della Monica. You might have known Child of a Hidden Sea. As soon as Sophie Hanza returns to our world, she is anxious to once again go back to Stormrack. Unable to discuss the wondrous sights she has seen and unable to tell anyone what happened to her in her time away, Sophie is in a holding pattern, focused entirely on her eventual chance to return. Does she return? I don't know. You'll need to get this book, which is coming out from Tor on a date that I am going to find here. It's out. Go, go buy it now. It's out December 1st. So there you go. No nation is going to be that person's parent because that's what they do. All right. Should have set this stack up a little better. I know some of you like the rip. There you go. A satisfying rip. And we have another Pathfinder book. These come uh, fast and furious here these days. Hunters. Oh, I'm sorry. This one's Bloodbound, a novel by F. Wesley Schneider. It says Hunters of the Dead on the back. Uh, so there you go. Pathfinder Tales, Bloodbound by F. Wesley Schneider. Uh, also out December 1st. First? First? Also? Follows the story of Larsa, a dampier, half vampire, half human, in the gritty streets and haunted moons of Gothic Ustalov. She's an agent for the Royal Spymaster. Look at her. She's probably a daughter of no nation as well. All right. We got another one here. Which side do I open? Ah, this one didn't didn't rip as satisfyingly. It is V.E. Schwab. A Gathering of Shadows. Oh, this one is a uh, advanced reader copy. Even though it's nice, it's got a nice cover there. Uh, it's out February 2016. Four months have passed since an obsidian stone full of boundless dark magic fell into Kel's possession. Four months since his path crossed Delilah Bards. Four months since Reese was wounded and the Dane twins fell and the stone was cast with Holland's dying body through the rift into Black London. Restless without his smuggling trade, Kel is visited by dreams of ominous magical events, waking only to think of Lila, who disappeared from the docks as she promised she would. As Red London finalizes preparations for the Element Games, love the games, so fun. An extravagant international competition of magic meant to entertain and keep the ties between neighboring countries healthy, a certain pirate ship draws closer, carrying old friends back into part port. There you go. V.E. Schwab fans, and I know you're out there. Get excited for February 2016, because that's when that's coming. All right, two more to go. Two more to go. What's in this one? Some of these are, are from a week ago. That's why we got those December 1st ones. Ooh, another uh, advanced reader copy from Fred Chappelle, A Shadow of All Light in the province of Tlemia, where human shadows are powerful commodities. Ooh, I like that idea. An apprentice shadow thief embarks on an extraordinary adventure. So that one's coming out April 12th. Got a ways to wait for that one. Uh, and and not a not much of a cover to show you there, unfortunately, but that's that's how far out we are on that. But a cool premise. I like that. All right, one last one. Here we go. Who likes... Oh, who was that? This is a couple ones. Hey, bonus, twofer. What do we got here? Uh, first, The Exiled Earthborn by Paul Tassi. Uh, Lucas and Asha have survived the destruction of Earth at the hands of the invading Zalans, that's with an X, and seek safe haven with their enemy's true forces, the Sorens, that's with an S. They find a lush planet inhabited by an advanced civilization waging a seemingly endless war against a constantly involved, uh, evolving enemy. Deemed the Earthborn, they are welcomed as heroes, almost as gods. To an audience of billions, they swear an oath to avenge their fallen planet by aiding the Sorens in their war against Xala with an X. All right, and that, the exiled Earthborn, 
is coming to you November. Oh, it's out. That's way out. November 2015. And then no more heroes, okay? We're done. Lauren Rhodes, is. that's it. No more heroes. Saving humanity is hard work, and it doesn't pay very well. Why should I? The multi-species crew, it doesn't say why should I, I said that. The multi-species crew of the Veracity is enjoying some well-deserved R&R after informing the galaxy about the spread of the time-bending Messiah drug. Now that the galaxy has been saved again, the crew members begin to see each other in a new light. Is it a Phillips Hue? No, it's not. You want to find out what the light is? You need to pick up No More Heroes because that is something you can do, I'm guessing already. I'm just going to guess that. Because it's on sale in November. So there you go. No more heroes. Don't want any more heroes? Don't need any more heroes. You're going to buy that book instead and read it. And that's the Sword and Laser Mailbox uh, for this week. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you at our podcast on swordandlaser.com.